We're Sup, back. nerds. Something that uh, we forgot to talk about last time, the name of this chapter. Right, right, right. What is the name of the chapter? It is Onikakushi. It is the Onikakushi chapter. Okay, I recognize Oni. Yeah. Because that's like demon, right? Is yeah. It, in most contexts. Indeed it is. So what do we got here? It is the Demon Away chapter or oh. the Spirited Away by Demons chapter. Spirited Away by Demons. Okay. Interesting. So if someone is taken away into a magical world by demons, pro- or or is it more of a literal spirited, or, or is it more like spirited away is like just taken away? We'll see, I suppose. Because, I mean, there's also the uh, the Tori gate, right, on the tip screen, which tends to imply the barrier between the, uh, I forget what the exact terminology is, but bet- the barrier between the, um, the, the 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 real world and the supernatural, I guess, is is the lazy way of putting it. I don't hmm. remember the exact terms. Um, but okay. we'll just have to see what it means. <laughs> we were also talking, and I wanted to make sure we got this on a uh, on recording here, but like because we I mentioned it at one point, but like we started talking after we were finished recording. That it's really kind of fucked up these the situation these kids are in. It's easy to forget some of it because it's Ryukishi and there's a lot of like hey, yuck, hey, yuck, silly stuff going on. But when you stop back and take a look, oh God, these are grade schoolers taking care of one another. One who has somehow taught themselves to, in order to like home alone defend themselves at all times <laughs> to a disturbing degree. And one who refers to themselves as an old man, <laughs> which I think is rather charming, but Maybe there's a reason for it. I and wonder one, if there's reasons for any of this weird and behavior. And one who's just, I'm pretty sure, Sayori. Yeah? Maybe, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's just got that going on. Interesting, interesting. Which one? Huh? Uh, uh, the, 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 the cheery, happy one who was with us at first. Uh, the the redhead, Reina? Reina, yes, the redhead, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Th- th- those are my hard calls after 90 minutes of gameplay and absolutely no action. All right. <laughs> Do appreciate the way that it lets you have a little bit of like a breather before we move on to the next chapter. That'll be like, hey, check your tips. Oh, I took it a little too easy on the morning of my day off. I was totally late. Today was the Ray Reina and Mio, and we're going to show me around Hinamizawa. Hey, there it is. Hey, it's only on her other sprite. Okay, only on, only on, only on Good. her. So these are I their was, casual outfits. I was worried that Mion didn't have her gun. Okay, so she doesn't carry it with her to school, but she does at all other times. At all, at other, all times. other times. All right, let's see what the um, updated ones look like. Wait, she doesn't have it in her updated sprite. <sighs> Weird. What was what? What was the one you showed me? Was that from the anime? Yeah. Okay. But they do have their changed outfits. That's so cute. I got used to everybody having one outfit for various reasons in Umineko. <laughs> so it's 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 cool to see like, oh, yeah, they, 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 change, they change outfits. It's, it's a new day. There we go. Oh, yeah, so there better. we go. We're back in it. <laughs> Reina and Mion were already waiting at the meeting place. Hey, Sean, you're late. Sorry, the show I was watching last night was really interesting. Blame that. (laughs) Which one? This is is probably me own again. I'm already, I'm already lost. This sounds like me own again. Oh, so that's your excuse for being late and keeping two girls waiting. Me, Chan, you just got here yourself. (laughs) <laughs> Last night's episode of A Day in the Life Hub was interesting, wasn't it? Oh, that reminds me. I started looking up some of like what kind of board games would a 1980s board game nerd be into. Yeah. I, I, I didn't like find a big comprehensive I didn't make like a comprehensive survey, but like just looking at some of the stuff, it looks like a lot of like a lot of stuff that's very similar almost to what we have today, but it, uh precursors of stuff that would get codified into games I'm familiar with. Did Catan exist? I don't know if Catan exists. I, well, what I looked at was that someone had a list of like, hey, here's the, like probably the 50 most popular board games of the 1980s. And I'm like, okay. So it, I, I, it, it didn't include stuff that might have come out beforehand. Mm. But like, I recognize like the board game Civilization, which is not exactly, but sort of kind of related to the video game that came after it. It's, it's complicated, <laughs> but... Um, 
Yeah, in, in Axis and Allies. I, I've I've seen people play Axis and Allies. Uh, there was a con I used to go to with my friends in high school every year. And every every time over the weekend, there would be one room dedicated to the, the group of people playing Axis and Allies for three days straight. <laughs> Did they ever complete the game? I don't recall. I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> I don't know if they ever did, but I'm imagining it being the same group of people playing the same game for three days each time the con runs. <laughs> uh, there were some I recognized, some, some like more like uh, pedestrian type games. Like uh, one of the card games I used to play when I was growing up a lot, Set, yeah. came out in the '80s. Um, I, I played that a whole lot when I was when I was young because I, I, I diagnosed autism. I also did, and I don't remember a single thing about how it works. <laughs> it's great. I'll have to show you again sometime. It's still fun to play. Anyway, uh, if you've got any cool little asides about 1980s board game nerds, let me know. This, this, <laughs> this is this is important background detail. Anyway, she was just as guilty as me. Reyna was carrying a pretty heavy-looking handbag. What is that? Mion answered my unspoken question with a wink. That's right, Reyna really did make a picnic. Okay, Chan, after you left, Reyna pulled out all the stops. Ugh, it's not like I forced her to do it. It was nothing, so don't worry about it, okay? She's been <laughs> like this since last night, you know. Can you take responsibility for this? You know what I was just thinking of? These, because, because if I was thinking about other game, other Dojin games I played from this era, namely like the one Dojin game I played from this era, Toho, and like <laughs> the very like kind of wide eyes are too big, but still lovingly hand drawn anime art style that seems indicative of the turn of the millennium. Yeah, it's so charming. <laughs> I, I, I. I really hope people understand that I'm not like, this is not a bit or me making a joke. I'm looking at this and like, this is a game with so much character to it. Uh, anyway. All right, all right. I'm a man after all. I'll take responsibility. Huh? Responsibility? For what? For what? As we both turned slowly around to look at Reyna, our gazes drifted downwards to the massive handbag she was carrying. It didn't seem logically feasible that it would be entirely filled with lunchboxes. Except that this was Reyna we were talking about here. About two kilos, I guess. <laughs> when Reyna was picking it up, I could see she was struggling a bit. I say five. Oh, oh, that was, okay. Oh, about two kilos, I guess. What, what, so what is it, Reyna? You're exaggerating. Keichi-kun is a boy, after all. I thought he could probably eat a lot, so I made a lot. Okay? <laughs> Let's get going. Heave ho! All right. Do you need help smuggling any of that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, now I don't pulls out a Winchester rifle. <laughs> That's what's missing from this. Wait, no, I was going to say we need these characters' sprites with a gun, happy with a gun, but we've already got happy me on with a gun. Yeah. This is literally perfect. I don't, there's no way to get the better than this. Just from the way she was lifting it up, I couldn't believe the only things in there were lunch boxes. Oh, correction, I say five kilos too. I'll help out, but all of it needs to be eaten. I won't forgive you if you make Reyna sad, got it? Are you wingmanning or third wheeling? I can't tell here. <laughs> Me neither, honestly. <laughs> it's kind of ambiguous. The only thing I could do at that moment was ex exercise a bit to make myself hungrier. <laughs> Having finished with the pleasantries, we began our leisurely stroll. A carefree walk bathed in the gentle morning sunlight. I couldn't have even imagined something so wholesome existed during my time in the city. These were the boonies, after all. No slovenly desk jockeys trudging to work on the weekends out here. It really was a nice place. Peaceful and quiet. As sparsely populated as the village was, you could still run into people just by walking around. Ugh, good day. Good day. Oh, you would be Marbara-kun, I believe. 
My two companions exchanged greetings with everybody we ran across. All of these passerby even knew my name. Ah, so small town thing where everyone knows everyone and we're the new kid on the block, so we instantly become the talk of the town. I know how this goes. Yeah. I, I, I've, I, I, this isn't, this ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> oh, when did I become this famous? We passed three people, and when all three of them knew me, I started to feel a bit paranoid. <laughs> it's a bit that, a bit sad to say. Everyone knows everyone since there are so, so few people here in Hinamizawa. Oh, so that means, uh, so that means when an unfamiliar face walks by, they automatically assume it's that Maibara fella who just moved here, huh? Yep, that's how it works out. It was a process of elimination. You could only pull off in a place like this, but it was quite effective. I see. The incredibly limited scope, Hempel's Raven. <laughs> I understand everything now. From now on, I'd better make sure to maintain a good reputation. The day I'm discovered accidentally gawking at a dirty magazine at the bookstore, I can expect all the villagers labeling me as a lech by the next day. If it's really that small of a town, then ain't the person manning the bookstore gonna tell on you first? <laughs> Himani, Himan, Hina Mizawa is not to be trifled with. Don't worry, we'll have it like down pat in, a, in, in like a few sods, but. Yeah. We can teach you the song. There's a song? Yeah, but I can't show you yet. Oh God. That's not the end of this nightmare though. Of course I know them. The first person we met was old man Takezo from the Makino bike shop. His hobbies are bonsai and playing the flute. Next we met the grocer's second son, Daisuke Kun. His hobby is sharpshooting and he hopes to be an ace sniper in the future. Great. Should I be taking notes on all these dramatis personae? <laughs> is, are they going to give me a list of people or should I be should I should I have my notebook out and be recording names of professions right now? I don't know that these ones are gonna. I don't know. You say that. <laughs> it, it, it depends how depends how hard you want to go. I I l l we're still. L let me get the lay of the land yeah, before I start. I think that's the yeah. that's the way to do it. And the person we just met was oh that's not that's gonna be Raina probably. And the person we just met was Mio San, the nurse from the clinic. Her hobbies are bird watching and photography. Oh, you know the names of everyone we passed by, and even their profiles. Seeing my surprise, Mion and Reyna exchanged looks and burst into laughter. Well, yeah, we're not like the city, where people hardly know their neighbors. Oh, then let's try it out. You there, who am I? <laughs> you're Keichi Maibara. You say some mean things, but you're actually a kind, shy person. Oh wait, I'm the Sundere! What a twist! It's been three weeks since you transferred here. Ah! Your hobby is taking afternoon naps. Lately, you switched over to wearing boxers, didn't you? Wait, how the hell did you know that? <laughs> That's... Act okay, you know what? Th that was actually an invasion of privacy. I'll have you know... That's enough. That's enough. Everyone in the village knows your underwear preferences. Listen, there are two kinds of stories that come out of, oh, everyone in a small town knows who they are, a new person moves in. <laughs> Either Keiichi's getting murdered... No, no, wait, no, Keiichi's gonna get murdered. Okay, okay. <laughs> that, because that's like how that's that, or at least that's the the setup of stuff like yep. this, right? There's a there, it, there's countless horror stories with that with that trope of newbie newbie comes into a tightly knit community. Everybody knows who they are. They feel like something's wrong, but they don't know how quite what to do about it. They aren't able to get out, and eventually, when they discover something that's hidden beneath the surface, right? Then everybody could close in on them and they're like, oh, you know too much, you gotta die now. And Yep. Yeah. That's the trope version of this. That like that's that's like my, my baseline expectation. So we'll, we'll see, like or rather, I imagine that's what anybody reading this would be primed to expect, mm. right? I, I should phrase it that way. Like that's the baseline that the author is going to expect you to be familiar with. Mm. So either they play it straight or they play with it. They're going to expect that you have something like that in mind. Fair enough. Right? I feel like that's fair. Boxers. Enough of that. Apparently there's absolutely nothing you can keep hidden here. Hina Mizawa was not a place to be trifled with. This feels more like you guys are showing me off rather than showing me around. That's right. 
we're parading around like this after all. Don't you all think so too? That Keichan is fitting right in here in Hinamizawa. Ugh. The population in Hinamizawa is shrinking, so the villagers welcome anybody who's new here. I thought about brushing it off with something to the effect of, you're kidding me, but I held back. Why am I narrating in his voice? We don't want to hear that. <laughs> Had I ever greeted someone who just moved into the city like this before? Thinking about that made me believe what they said wasn't a joke at all. We passed another person. Of course, we were called out to again the same way. Oh my, good day. It's wonderful seeing you getting along. This lady here is Fujishima-san. Good day. Oh my, my Burakun. How wonderful for you having a lovely girl in each arm. How are you? Getting used to life here? Instead of regurgitating a prepared response like I would have in the city, I responded with an emphatic nod. The old woman chuckled, voicing her appreciation of how energetic I was. Good. As I looked back over to Reina and Mion, they gave me a wink. So, now that I just like to point out that so far, the only reason I know this is Airsoft is because you said so. <laughs> if I was going in cold, I would be constantly wondering why this teenage girl is strapped. Yeah. Like, I would be thinking right now, why is this girl carrying around an actual legit firearm at all times? What the hell happened? I mean, they're out in the boonies in the middle of nowhere. They could be attacked by wild boars at any right, moment. Right, 20 to 30 wild boars. Yeah, 20 to 30 yeah, wild boars. right, okay. I, well, if in that case, that's why you have an assault weapon, <laughs> right? That's what Wasn't that what they were arguing for? Yeah. Was that one like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we just know what she's got with her now i see i see okay so the, she, <laughs> she keeps the the uh the the the, uh, the heavy equipment back home okay <laughs> so now then about time to have lunch maybe maybe reina's brilliant smile signaled the approach of an event that both mio and i were trying to forget we both looked at each other i'm a man yes i am and i can't help but love you so <laughs> I'll do what I can. Hashtag not a boomer. <laughs> I'm not, legitimately. But it's just too much. It's fine, Keichan. Leave it to this old man. I'm not a boomer in the sense of literal generations, but I'm definitely a boomer in the sense of that's how the, the young kids these days are using the term. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting a losing battle here. I understand But also that. not morally a boomer. But also, yes, musical tastes to some extent. Yeah, like, I, I, the, the, like, I it's think complicated. The reason I have a knee jerk objection to it is because it carries a certain implicit prescription of attitude. Yeah. That I feel doesn't apply. And I feel like that's the part of it that carries the most weight. Yeah. So, like, even yes, if, if, if I'm definitely a certified musical boomer, uh, I, I feel like whenever someone calls me that, my knee jerk reaction is like, no, because. <sighs> I'm not as shitty as my folks, okay? <laughs> <laughs> We're better than them, please. Uh, anyway. Did you already read yeah. Mion's line here? Yeah. Trans Mion? Trans Mion? Trans Mion? It's a mystery. Mion has never seemed as reliable as she does right now. I'd expect no less from the class representative. Wait, uh, is, is this... I, I don't feel know. like this is me own directing. Okay. Reyna, if we're going to eat, we might as well go somewhere with a good view. Because Keiichi doesn't know shit yeah. about places with a good view. Ah, yes. Good idea. I agree. Reyna nodded her head happily in response to me own's proposal. There we go. Yeah. I'm getting better at this. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> up the stairs. Walking up to a shrine. Yeah, there it is. Cresting the top of a stone stairway, a shrine drawn straight out of my imagination appeared before us. It had worn down a bit through the years, but the fallen leaves had been swept up, giving it a tidy feeling. This here is the Furude Shrine. Really? Hmm? Really? What do you mean, really? It's a, it's a strikingly s similar name, is, is all I'm... Uh, to whom? It's like it's like one syllable, off, like not not even a syllable. It's one phoneme. Off. Whatever could you mean? <laughs> I I. <sighs> <sighs> if this place is infested with rats, I'll know what's up. 
It's probably the place with the best view around. This place. Be sure to remember it. I will. On our next break, a festival will be held here. Oh, hey. Uh, isn't it a bit too early in the season for a festival? The Watanagashi isn't a summer festival. Long ago, it used to be a celebration of the end of winter. Watanagashi. Okay. Celebration of the end of winter. I was embarrassed for assuming that festivals had to be held in the summer. Now then, spread out the lunchboxes, and there. Various colored lunchboxes were placed one after another on the top of the plastic sheet. That is a really good view. Holy crap. It sure did smell delicious. It was Reyna's home cooking. It went without saying that it would be delicious, but is it even possible to finish all this? <laughs> hey, Mio, and it'll take more than just a good view to get all this down, you know? So precious. All right, hold on, hold on. We have to, we have to, we'll check real quick. Look at these two little squirts. Oh, okay. She's still got the red eyes take warning, which I appreciate, <laughs> but they're, they're a bit too, I, I don't know. I don't know. I like their tiny little gremlin era <laughs> versions. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go back. Yeah, there they are. Oh, yeah, here we go. Good afternoon. It was Rika-chan and Sadako. Why are they here? Mion grinned over at me. I see. This was her secret plan. To power in numbers. You have my thanks, Mion. Following up when all the pieces are in place is my specialty. We just had to come since there was such a commotion. What is the meaning of this? Oh, take a look. It's time for lunch, buffet style. A handmade gourmet meal by Reda. I can see that much. Why have you laid out a tarp on our property? Interesting. So they live at the temple? Hmm. Because uh, Rika makes breakfast for Sadako, right? Yeah. And our property, are, are they living with one another? Taking care of one another and they live at the temple? I wonder. That seems to be the implication. Uh, the temple is public grounds. It's not yours. Kate, she is right. This is everyone's property. Wow, Rika John is such a good girl. Have a seat. Eat with us. After opening up a spot for Rika John, I promptly turned my back on Sadako. Hold on there just one second. Where is my spot? No spot for you, and nothing for you to eat. <laughs> Don't worry, there's some for you too. Oh, none! I'll eat all of hers! <laughs> I shall not allow that, Rika! Here, chopsticks. <gasps> chopsticks! <laughs> <laughs> We did wind up in the correct place in the end, didn't we? <laughs> Both Sadako and I leapt at the boxes, having it out with each other. Man, really. Kei-chan, you're really good at leading people on. You might have a talent for this. So these five just kind of hang out, I guess? Oh, yeah. Cool. Radical. Have a plate. One for me, Chan, and Rika Chan, too. Okay, so she already had the plates ready to go for all five. She knew from the get go, huh? <laughs> Reyna whipped out pairs of chopsticks and paper plates. That or she's just always equipped to cater a feast 24 7. <laughs> That's true. <gasps> Access to hammer space and only uses it for <laughs> catering. Improbably large lunches. There we go. Improbably large lunch. If we don't hurry, it'll all be eaten up. That's right. Okay, shall we commence this battle? Please eat a lot. There's enough for everyone. Rena said as she opened up a thermos. Is it Rena? Rena? I think we had this conversation. I think Rena. Rena? Okay. Just then, I realized that this lunch was made under the assumption that five people would be eating. See, I told you! It didn't change how much there was, but the implication behind it was different. Ha <laughs> ha! I 
will not allow you to have this hamburger. <laughs> Using your elbow is against the rules, Sadako. Grabbing the back of my collar is also against the rules. It was a tough battle, blocking her with full momentum and an elbow in the opening moves. Sadako appeared to have the upper hand, but the difference in our proficiency with chopsticks proved to be fatal and gave me the upper hand. Ah! The last meatball! Sadako Hojo has been bested! Oh. Sadako and I began am <laughs> amiable. Sadako and I amiably began choking at the same time, falling backwards and spasming from eating too quickly in all likelihood. <laughs> Rika-chan patted me on the head to clear it, even though it was actually stuck in my throat. <laughs> Rika's one <laughs> remedy for everything. Did something go wrong in my general vicinity? Pat, pat. pat. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> oh no. When did she learn that this is the proper response to anything going wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Seeing that made Reyna blush and breathe heavily in excitement. It was almost like flowers were floating all around her. Mion advised Reyna to refrain from saying anything that could get her locked up. You know what? At least it's not the dude care. No, you know what? No, I'm not even gonna. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm not even gonna. No, 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 no. It's, it's just. I don't like it. Don't care for it. This is how our meals usually go. I'd do anything in my power. Just so things could stay like this. TBH, having like a nice, like having that core group of friends when you're school age and doing stuff together, getting together for lunch and stuff. One of those things you don't really know how to appreciate when you have it. Yep. You know what I mean? But goddamn, that's nice. The intense battle calmed. And, and then finally... What? Some, then someday you realize you're 30 and you can't just bike to the pizza place yep. with a group of buds and get a slice at a random time on a Wednesday afternoon or whatever. Yep. <laughs> and you're like, damn, why not? Right? That should be a God-given right. <laughs> the intense battle calmed and finally everyone reached a point where they could begin talking. Receiving tea from the thermos, I let out a small sigh. I do wonder why there are so few words in Japanese to praise how something tastes. Is that true? Interesting. I don't know. Isn't it because the idea of togetherness during a meal didn't begin until the modern era? Come on, mouse. It seems that long ago, people ate in silence. This mouse, I hate this so much. It must have made the people preparing the food a bit sad, don't you think? It's probably because back then the people were busy even while eating and didn't have the time to compliment the flavor. <laughs> That's just you. But you know, just hearing that it's good makes me happy. That my effort was worth it, I mean. She blushed a little as she said that. It was delicious. With absolutely perfect timing, Rika-chan struck Reino directly with praise. She looked straight at her with an expression of bewitching innocence. Uh -huh. uh? After Reina uttered an unintelligible noise, a ring of smoke rose from her head with an audible poof. Uh -huh. Rika-chan, I'm gonna take you home. No, I mean, thank you. It was really delicious. Reina flushed red with excitement, embracing Rika-chan and rubbing her cheek against her so hard you could almost hear it. T to reward Rika-chan for her praise, ta-da! These are special. Two apple rabbits! After sticking toothpicks into them, she thrust them toward Rika-chan. After Rika-chan accepted them, the mood suddenly shifted in a bizarre way. Ooh, what is it, Sadako? What's with that defiant look of yours? Has everyone prepared proper praise to receive apples from reina -san? Don't push yourself. What kind of praise can you think up with your weak vocab? <laughs> like that? <laughs> is that? Is that? Because we're going, we're going for the Ojo-sama kind of laugh, right? <laughs> like, 
but it still has to have shitty gremlin voice, so. <laughs> well then, allow me to show you. I, all I'm hearing is a lot of laughs, not yeah. an up or down here. <laughs> Roll with it. After Sadako flashed Mion and me a defiant look, she changed the tone of her voice rather suddenly. Um, um, hey, um, so, uh, Reina Onechan's lunch? Sadako thought it was yummy, too. <laughs> Sadako looked up at her poutily while talking all cutesy. Wah, how was that praise? That's not even persuasion by tears, that's persuasion by cuteness, isn't it? This is a Reina, Reina limited special skill. She blushed and her head spun, waving around in circles. D don't fall for it, Reina! Ah, uh, ha! Uh. Of course, that was asking for the impossible. Reina glomped Sadako and began rubbing her cheek against her. Cute. Sadako is so cute. Take you home. Uh -huh. Swish. Stab. Push. Sadako was also presented with apple rabbits. After stuffing them into her mouth, she looked over at Mion and me again with that defiant gaze. It took only five seconds to take down Reina. <laughs> That's unfair to think she had such a trick up her sleeve. <laughs> if it upsets you so much, why not reward Reina-san with some more praise? <laughs> Damn it! That was a dirty trick. First of all, that wasn't even praise. Saroko, you think you won with that, don't you? How about I show you guys something much better than your superficial gimmicks? Uh, th 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 that sounds great, Mion. What, what kind of trick do you have? Keichan is going to be the one who does it. I what? <laughs> Why don't I have you show me then? <laughs> the writhing of an old maid. The plan of attack she suggested was wicked, but it was the only thing we had to beat Sadako. Wait, yeah, I probably got that right. That's whatever. Oh, well. After sipping my tea, I started talking very naturally and calmly. Perfectly. It really is good, isn't it? This is all freshly made, right? Ah, no. Actually, most of it, almost all of it was frozen stuff. Then which ones did you make fresh? Ah, uh, um, well... It's embarrassing. Do I really have to say? Must I? From the synergy of boy plus handmade lunchbox, her expression had melted into euphoria. I already know. It's this one right here, right? Uh, uh, uh-huh. Uh. Reina turned an even deeper shade of red, the words I can't believe it practically written on her face. H how can you tell how, uh, th that I made it? Of course, Mion had told me beforehand. It's been perfect so far. After acting like I was shy, I waited a beat. Next would be the finisher. It had your smell. <laughs> Silence enveloped the area. Reina, face still completely red, froze solid. With a small yelp, Sadako also blushed. <laughs> of course I did too. I sure would like to try one of Raina's handmade apple rabbits. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> Even if this was all because I was competing with against Sadako, I felt like I'd crossed the line by a good nine yards, I think. Then at that moment... Whoosh! It was a Tupperware container filled with rabbits! P -p -p Please eat some, Keichi-kun. There's plenty for you. <laughs> Instantly, dozens of the apples were shoved into my mouth, knocking me over. Oh, oh, okay, okay. S -s -s oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. oh okay. S -s Say, ah, uh, Keichi kun. <laughs> my head was forcibly laid upon her lap, and even more apples were shoved into my mouth while she was squealing. One apple after another was forced into my mouth. More and more apples. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, 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 o
Hey, Sean, that was a beautiful sacrifice. <laughs> How's that, Sadako? This is our complete victory, isn't it? I, I can't believe it! Such trickery! It, it, it doesn't bother me at all! Sadako ground her teeth, mortified! We did it! I claimed victory as my consciousness drifted slowly away from me. Worth it. <laughs> At that time, Reyna stopped her squealing as she suddenly realized something. Rika-chan, you're not eating it. Did the salt water make it too strong, maybe? Maybe? I was going to say, she's been absent through this whole thing, but also she's kind of, like, very quiet. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, it, it just might be. Looking over, Rika-chan had pulled the toothpick out of the apple rabbit, placed it into her cupped hands, and seemed to be at a loss for what to do. Poor Mr. Rabbit. I feel sorry for him. I want to save him. Pwee. That was the sound of blood spurting from Reyna's nose. Okay. <laughs> I read the first half of that sentence, and then I read the second half. <laughs> <laughs> This game has a reputation, or I should say, like, the anime of it has a reputation, okay? Even I'm not so blind as to not be aware of that game, uh, of the anime's <laughs> reputation. So, I'm on edge. Yeah? Cute. Tonight, I will take you home. She shook sporadically, her head wobbling back and forth. Then, coming back to her senses, she took all of the apples around me, gathered them up on with a whip, 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 and fixed them back up on a plate. Now they're all just fine, okay? Here, I'll give them to you, Rika-chan, okay? Okay? Rika-chan raised up Sadako's hand like a referee after having that plate of rabbits shoved to her. She whispered, This is our victory. What? What? A comeback? Uh, 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 and thus my sacrifice ended up being in vain. I'm gl I'm grateful for the translations. <laughs> oh. Delightful. Surely nothing could go wrong here. Yeah. It was a fun-filled, crazy day. But as soon as the sun began to set, the end of the day really did come quickly. Later, Reyna and Kei-chan. See you tomorrow. Oh, thank you for today, Mio, and I had a great time. See you tomorrow. Sadako and Rika-chan went home as well. We parted ways with Mion, and it ended with just Reyna and myself, enjoying the evening air on our way home. Thanks for coming today, Keichi-kun. Was it fun? Yeah, it was. It was lots of fun. Almost feels like a waste to go home now. Ah, then, well, would you mind taking a little detour, maybe? Maybe? A detour? Is it to where the bodies are buried? Is it far? It's a bit of a walk, but it won't take long. Since we had been walking around all day, I must have seemed a bit tired. Not feeling like teasing Reyna, I quietly nodded. A fucking cable stay bridge in the middle of the woods? There's a river. And a river and a dam? Oh, that's so cool! Ah. Oh. I love giant rural infrastructure. <laughs> it, sorry, it, it, like it, it's one of those things that really gets me. Like, ah, oh, that's so cool. Traversing a small path up in a small hill, the land suddenly stretched out before us. There, what looked like the remains of a dilapidated construction site came into view. A dilapidated construction site, huh? Okay. So they were building something here, then stopped for mysterious reasons. A large heap of garbage. Uh, wait. And they're renting out of a building that the Forest Service has that mm -hmm. also has construction bit equipment outside of it. Yep. So clearly there is some outside interest in something here in Hinamizawa. Perhaps so. A large heap of garbage spread out off toward the swamp. Probably illegal dumping. I recalled it being in the newspaper. <laughs> illegal dumping, huh? Is there that? Is there really that much from a small town? 
It's been quite a while. I wonder what's here. I wonder what's here. When you say it's been a while, you mean the business you had here was with this garbage pile? It's n- not garbage. To me, it's a pile of treasure. Raina had already entered that well-known cute mode of hers. And now we learn what Raina thinks is cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There are two kinds of people that go through that that like to go through trash to find stuff. Either people, well-meaning people in their high school phase, like my friend who tried to cook me food out of stuff from a dumpster, or people who use it to find stuff that they need. Reyna, do you need to find stuff here that you need? Are you we'll not getting see. everything you need at home? We'll see. So that meant there was something cute here. Whoa, a new pile. I can't wait. I can't wait. She bounded up the unstable slope. I'd expect no less from a born and bred country girl. Hey, wait, I'm coming. Whoa, whoa. My city raised self was completely pitiful. It's all right. Just stay right there, Kei Chikun. It won't take long. Raina kindly declined my accompaniment. Don't fall. Watch your step. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't fall. Fall. Don't do it. (laughs) This is nothing at all. Oh, there she goes. Literally bounding up the heap of trash, Reyna disappeared over the other side. I didn't like being left behind, but I was still pretty tired from the whole day, so I just ended up waiting. Without the lively Reyna around, the surrounding area quickly fell into silence. The cry of the Higurashi gently cooled the air. (laughs) Title drop! It's weird that they insist on not translating that one word. Yeah. You can just say the cicadas. Is it a specific type of cicada, I wonder, or something? Uh, yeah, well, is, is there something specific meant to be implied by the cry of, like, or is it just like, this is the title of it, so we're not going to translate it because, you know, title drop. Fairly exhausted, I began to feel a little sleepy. Just then, the sudden noise of scattering pebbles alerted me to somebody's presence. Startled, I turned around. To my knowledge, it is not a specific type of cicada. I see. Standing <laughs> there was... <laughs> don't want to translate it so they can title drop. Fair enough. Standing there was a typical looking photographer. He spied me over at me through his camera. Hey. Is this the guy whose t-shirt, t-shirt George is wearing in Umineko? Yes. What's his name again? It's... I forget. Actually, I forget this guy's name. His body was tanned and fit, but something about him seemed unreliable. He had a bit of an aloof air about him. Let's see what he looks like in... Uh... Uh, fucking shredded jesus okay yeah jacked all right in dog tags okay is he wielding his weighted training camera is that why he's so ripped christ all right good god dude stop looking at me you're gonna make me question you're gonna (laughs) make me question things buddy (laughs) all right there we go friend shaped again (laughs) Well, it didn't seem like he was a bad guy in any case. Whoa. You surprised me. Although startled when I turned around, he overplayed his reaction. That was my line. I'm the one who surprised you. (laughs) My bad, my bad. I didn't mean to startle you. Are you from Hinamizawa? I gathered that he wasn't from that question. Why, Why is anyone snooping around here for photos? Unfazed by my suspicious outlook, he introduced himself without my prompting. I'm Tomitake. Tomitake, there right, it is. Right, Tomitake Flash is the shirt. Yep. Freelance photographer. I come to Hinamizawa from time to time. Really? So there's something here worth documenting, huh? I didn't ask who you were, buddy. Great place for nature photos. True. Quite, although, a garbage dump? <laughs> Maybe not at the Here's dump, the huh? Here's the thing. I could actually see some like really cool photos there, right? Like, But like, I, 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 I doubt... Quite rude to photograph someone without their consent, one would think. My bad, my bad. I mainly photograph wild birds. They can't refuse, you see. I I don't like the way you said that. (laughs) I I just don't. So what, you're saying I'm the same as the birds? No, well, you see, that image of a young man in the twilight was just uh, picturesque. I apologize for trying to take your picture without asking. Adults are pretty slick. All that annoyance I felt for being startled just flew away as he buttered me up. I had no intention of hanging around with this guy trying to get cozy with me. Except it didn't seem like Reina would be back soon. But this older guy, Tomotaki-san, didn't mind my cautious responses and continued rambling on by himself. Hey, Chikun. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm finished now. 
Reyna popped her head out from one of the lower piles of garbage and waved her hand. You have someone with you? What would she be doing over there? That's what I wanted to know. I don't know. Maybe she's checking on that dismembered corpse that was out here along. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that was Keiichi saying that. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, just... Great, awesome, radical. I don't know, maybe she's checking up on that dismembered corpse that was out here long ago. Tomataki-san looks shaken up by that for a moment. Uh-oh. I responded of, like I would if I were talking with Reina and the others. It was quite a disturbing incident. They still haven't found one of the arms. What the fuck? <laughs> Keiichi was just fucking around and was like, oh, she's probably checking on the body. And Tomitake's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How'd you know about How'd that? How'd you know about the so body? So is that what we were watching in the beginning then? I don't know. Because that's what it felt like. Could be. Like, like that's, the, like that's the vibe I got from it when we were watching that. So great. Glad to know there's a body around here. Ha ha ha. Keiichi-kun, sorry to keep you... Sorry to keep you. You were waiting a while, I guess. I guess. I'd best leave you two lovebirds alone. Again, my apologies for startling you, Keiichi Kun. I guess that would be an angle for someone to come out here and want to journal. Or like, are you like a. You said freelance photographer. Does that imply like you get paid to like photograph stuff for like magazine spreads? Or are you like a journalist or like what? I need more to work with than that. Yeah, we need the lore. Tomataki-san chortled suggestively, then disappeared into the twilight. Missing my chance to retort put me off a bit. Did you find what you were looking for in, in, in the trash, Reina? Keiichi-kun, are you angry? Why, I wonder. I wonder. It wasn't Reina's fault, so I decided to just brush it off for now. So that's one of those town secrets that everyone in the town knows and just <laughs> no one talks about? I wonder. Huh? Great. I sure do love things that everyone knows, but no one talks about. <laughs> it's just assumed you will already know it, so there's no reason for anyone to say it. <clears throat> love that. Oh, how was it? Did you find a treasure trove? Oh, yes. So listen. Uh, um, you see, there was... A Colonel Sanders doll. A Colonel Sanders doll. Oh, that thing. Those statues they always have out in front of that fried chicken place, huh? That life-size dummy? Yes, Colonel Sanders. Ah, cute. I want to take it home. So, what don't you find cute? <laughs> I... See, this is another thing where I'm like... Is this just like is is there some kind of compensation going on here, or like because for a while it was like okay she just likes cute things and now it's like this feels very purposeful and intentional like you are trying too hard on purpose here. <laughs> what are you what are you smothering by saying Colonel Sanders is cute, Reina? I need I need to know more about you. I couldn't tell how she decides what's cute or not, but well she seems to want it. It's garbage though, right? No one would care if you just take it home, right? It's become the base of another pile. I can't dig it out easily. There's no lampposts over there, so it'll get dark pretty soon. Raina seemed quite down about finding a treasure and not being able to bring it back. I'll help you out to repay you for that delicious picnic you prepared today. Ah, uh, thank you. Birds heading home to roost proclaimed that nightfall would soon be upon us. Keichi-kun is going to help. I can take Colonel Sanders home. Ah. What does her family think about her bringing stuff from the dump home? I wonder. <sighs> she made that all by herself. Didn't, did Kate, she mention that she had, a, that uh, Reyna had a mother earlier? Did I imagine that? I don't remember. I don't remember. Because we so far know nothing about the home lives of these kids. Yeah, I don't think we know very much about it, any of their families. I thought. Oh, yeah. Keiichi did ask, did your mom make it? Yes, that's what I was... Yeah, so I like... Okay, so Reyna has a mother at home. Okay, so that that's at least a, something. Or at least uh, that's what... Or was I, Keiichi just saying that? Like, does he actually know? Because Keiichi just likes to say things sometimes. He sure seems to say a bunch of stuff. Yeah, Keiichi sure does like to say a bunch of stuff. So I guess maybe we shouldn't take that as gospel. I don't know. Raina staggered along as if intoxicated in her dreamy state of mind. I don't know what I'm meant to be focusing on right now, but what really interests me is, like, what I've really found interesting so far is, like, 
what the home lives of these girls are like. Yeah. That so far is the little detail that we're not seeing, that we're only seeing bits and pieces of that could, like, if you weren't paying attention, could easily just be like, oh, that's cute. That's quirky, but really seem worrying. Yep. So, I, I don't know. That's where my mind's at right now. Reina hoarding garbage and being inclined to serious physical violence. Mion carrying a gun at all times. Uh-huh. Two children seemingly living at the temple. And taking care of each other, right? I wonder. Oh, my God. Wait, this was out, came out in 2002? Yeah. <gasps> Rika and Sadako are just Reimu and Marissa. <laughs> oh, my God. Hina Mizawa's in Gensokyo. I figured it all out. I feel, I would be surprised if there wasn't a Toho reference in one of these. There was one in there was there one was, in Umineko, yeah there was so. there was a pretty blatant one in Umineko, So, and again we we've confirmed that Jessica, despite living in the 1980s, does play Toho. Indeed. So, I tried asking her in a way that wouldn't take her out of her cheery state. Uh, hey, Reina, did long ago did something happen here? Seems like they were building a dam here. I don't know the details, though. Oh. All right, so abandoned construction site. There's trying to build a dam. I saw a bit. We saw bits of a dam. It looked like it was done, but I guess it's not. So what? They built a dam. There's leftover piles of trash that people keep actively dumping on. And it doesn't appear like it's meant to be a sanctioned landfill. Yeah, if you're in the middle of nowhere and you can't, like, just drive to the local landfill, if it's like a couple hours trip to the big city landfill then maybe you just toss your trash yeah, where you okay. can. Okay, like, I get that. Uh, that's But that's... A Colonel Sanders statuette is not small-town Hinamizawa trash. Yeah. That's big city trash. Yeah, kind of weird. Yeah, that, that that's this isn't, like, locals just dumping stuff where they can, which, like, whatever, you do what you gotta do. The, the, like, the, that's... Exp- they, they've made it explicitly clear that this is coming in from outside. Yep. And then there's the abandoned construction site, still with a bunch of equipment there, which means they either actively going on or they haven't been able to get it back yet for some reason or don't want to. I There's a lot of like nice, interesting threads here to pull at. I'm just wondering if you uh, knew about, you know, an accident or something. Ow. Let me click. I don't know. Okay, you said that way too quickly and way too cheerily. Her tone was disturbingly frank. Okay, good. So I, I, that, that was how we were meant to feel. It sounded more like a denial than an answer. Must have appeared rather dumbstruck. Raina quickly lightened her expression. Actually, I didn't live here until a year ago. Huh? You transferred here too? I was sure that... So you see, I don't really know much from before that. Sorry. Okay. Great. Cool. So we have a probable cause that might have resulted in a lot of young women having a bunch of trauma. (laughs) (sighs) Or at least that's what the author is setting us up to think, right? Mm -hmm. Right? I I feel like this, like, I'm still, this is all very surface level right Mm -hmm. here. Don't really know. Don't want to talk about it. That was the kind of feeling she gave me. Thinking about it, of course it would be like that. This wasn't the type of thing girls would enjoy talking about. Oh, it was quite a disturbing incident. Seems they weren't able to find one of the arms. If it's just like Tomotaki-san said, then I had a feeling only the Higurashi would know. (laughs) Just gonna... Yeah, okay. Music cuts out immediately like Stepford smile. (laughs) What are you talking about? I don't know anything about any accidents. We received new tips. There is no dismembered body in Hina Mizawa. I don't know what you're talking about. Time for um, tips. Yeah, hold on. Let's just save real quick. All right. How are we doing on time? I think we're doing pretty well because we haven't... Yeah, okay. Let's read some tips. Again, it's so menacing. <laughs> and if there's a journalist, if there's a photographer out here, then clearly he thinks there's more to the story. I guess he, he hasn't been called a journal. He's just a freelance photographer. But mm-hmm. if someone's 
actively poking around out here. They clearly think there's something worth following up. Hmm. The Maibara Manor. So, Kei-chan, you're not stinking rich? What is this all of a sudden? Did I come to school in a limo before? How much do you get for a monthly allowance? About ten dollars. My, my, my. That's a rather plebeian amount. amount. <laughs> His lunch is made up of normal stuff. He isn't rich. What are they talking about? It's also interesting that that's Rika's um, barometer for what does or doesn't make someone What's rich. What's in the lunchbox? What are they talking about? To be asked out of nowhere how much I get and then told it's a plebeian amount. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Reyna seemed to pick up on my dubious expression and started giggling. Okay, Chan, your house, you know, it's pretty big, yeah? So the architecture has people all around Hinamizawa calling it the Maibara Manor, and it sort of stands out. B -b Maibara Manor? Since the house is so big, everybody is gossiping, wondering exactly how rich you are. Oh, I see. Now I get it. Well, the frame of it is huge. I see how it could cause some misunderstandings. From my deductions, I wager they spent too much money on building the house, and that is why they are now broke. <laughs> Being broke, how very, very unfortunate. Rika-chan took pity on me as she patted my head. I go from being treated like a millionaire to a beggar. Head pats are a treatment for poverty now, Head too. Head pats are a treatment for everything. Yeah. Glad to hear it. Yeah, sorry for ruining your imagination, but we aren't millionaires or poor. We're the image of a normal, average household. You can't call it normal with that huge house. The entranceway is all grand, and the gate is large enough for a large truck to get through. A small truck the size of a large truck. <laughs> That's not normal at all. Small, what was it? Small boulder to the size of a large boulder? Yeah. Or was it large boulder size of a small boulder? I don't remember. I don't remember which one. Ah! They do say the bigger your house, the more prosperous you are. Okay, so that's my Barra Manor. See, I look at that and I'm thinking like, yeah, it's a big house, but it, like, it, all, it has the vibe of like a retrofitted like schoolhouse or barn. Mm. Or, like that to me... If that's being used as a home, I mean, it could just be like, that's the photograph. Like, I don't, like in Umanago, I don't know how much stock we're supposed to put into the photographs as yeah. being literal representations, right? But uh, I look at that, and that looks like a building that was used for something else before it was turned into a home. Mm. So, yeah. The reason the house is so big is because Dad's studio is in it, too. This is the first time he's mentioned his father. He had mentioned his father last time, that his dad is a painter. That is, dad is a painter, right, 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 right. He did mention that. Okay. Okay, so he moved out here to... Okay. A bunch of different workshops, and lots of his works are hung up in different places. Okay. So yeah, like a retrofitted farmhouse or something would give a lot of uh, floor space where you could turn into a studio or something. Yeah. It's probably not the case that, like, like I bet a lot of the space is not kept in, like, warm during the full year and stuff like that. Yep. All of them are huge, too. For those reasons, the family actually uses only a third of the house for day-to-day -day living. Yeah, okay, cool. He planned it out so people in the cars could come in to see the gallery he opens up in the house someday. By the way, the entranceway Mion is talking about is the one for the studio. It is normally sealed off. I was going to say, like, I, I, I have friends growing up who, who lived in r more rural places who, like, lived in houses that looked like these. Yeah. Right, right. And it's just like, oh, yeah, it's because, you know, this used to be farmland or this was a farmhouse at some point. It's just, yeah. The entranceway to the Maibara family actually uses is a very plain and simple one. The interior is much different from how it looks on the outside. I'd really like a chance to explore Keichan's house. Claiming not to be rich, but having a home like that. I don't know. He's got a painter? His father's a painter. Do we know what his mother does? They haven't said that yet, right? Yeah. So if you're a painter, that means either you're a big enough name where you are living off of the work. You can make a living off of that work, which doesn't seem to be the case. Or, or his mother's the breadwinner. And he's getting in and he's, you know, making some income, but not really able to support the family on painting alone. Or the house has been in the family forever and they can live there for free, basically. And Yeah. Like, this is kind of middle of nowhere, right? I assume that the, the, the even on a bigger house like that, it's going to be cheaper to live here than it is in the city. Yeah. And if you were going to, if you were planning to 
quit your day job, dump your life savings into a house and spend the rest of your time painting in your free time. A rural place in the middle of nowhere with cheap property would be the place to do it. Exactly. And given that they, no one recognizes Keichan here, this is not like, this doesn't feel like a family home, mm -hmm. right? Because if, if so, he would be more familiar with the area. So it clearly does feel like, like kind of what you outlined, where it's like, oh, they decided to move here to get away from the city mm -hmm. or something like that. And then purposely chose to get a home that would give a lot of studio space. Okay. What could be hidden there? Maybe there's something cute hidden. I no ah. longer trust your definition of cute. They probably had no money to purchase furniture, so it's filled with Spartan rooms. If there are carpeted rooms, I would love to try rolling around on the floor. There, Rika and I agree. Wow, that'd be great. So great. I want to roll around too. Seems like their imaginations were just piling on. Well, sometime in the near future, it wouldn't be too bad to invite them all to my house. Dad is a sucker for the lady, so he might even let them look around at his studio. The cry of the Higurashi crescendoed as the sky towered over everything. It was hot, but the air was clear. It smelled like the beginning of summer. Hmm. Okay. The dam site murder dismemberment. <laughs> okay, so it is related to the dam site. Okay, so the reason stuff might have stopped was because of the dismemberment. Okay, so cool. Let, let's let's read the historical record here. Let's see what the newspaper has to say. From the June XX, 1979 edition. The Shishibone City ok Okinomiya Police Station, June XX, late at night. Suspects. Names redacted. Should we be paying attention to the number of X's? I see they're different. One, three, four, five, four. I don't think so. Okay. We're arrested on suspicion of murder and improper disposal of a corpse. <laughs> Hold on, Rosic. <laughs> yeah, we got them both with murder and improper disposal of the body, boss. <laughs> If you're going to murder someone, at least dispose of it correctly. At least have the decency to take them to a cemetery and pay for a proper burial. Right? <laughs> Sorry. That, okay. Suspects, names withheld, were arrested on suspicion of murder and improper disposal of a corpse. Suspicion. The main offender, name withheld, has been added to a wanted list, a wanted list nationwide. According to our sources, the six suspects were at the Hinamizawa Dam construction site workroom on the 6th of June at 9 p.m., where they are suspected to have assaulted and murdered the site overseer XX as a group, name withheld as a group, dismembering his body and hiding it. That sounds different from the sort of kind of maybe murderous thing in the intro, though. Hmm, kind of does. Yeah, I'm not saying it couldn't be the same, but it, it definitely gives a different vibe. Because the one in the intro, and this feels like a very weird word to, to use for it, it felt intimate. Yeah. Right, right. We talked about the, the, the Southern Gothic aspect to it, right? It's On the XX at 8 o'clock in the morning, a report was filed by the Shishibone City Hospital in which a male suspect alluded to having murdered Mr. Name Withheld. When questioned at the police station, the individual confessed to the crime. Since a portion of the body was recovered at the location he gave, he was arrested that afternoon on suspicion of murder and mutilation of a corpse. The rest of the suspects were arrested the same day, but the main culprit is still at large. Police are currently on his trail. Okay. The motive is purported to be a drunken verbal dispute during which he killed the victim in a fit of anger. But then everyone went along with it? And I then dismembered the body and then hid the pieces in different places? But then folded really quickly? Yeah, that's weird. Because, like... Here's the thing. Killing someone as a group, then dismembering them into pieces tells me that you're trying to hide the body as efficiently as possible. You don't want you don't want it to be found. That that's like that's like fictional murder stuff 101. Yep. Right? Get a group together, everybody takes apart, put it, you know, dump it somewhere far apart from all the other ones and never say a word. But this guy folded the next day? Either he wasn't in on it from the get-go, or it's n not what it seems. 
However, as there are multiple inconsistencies with their testimonies, the investigation is ongoing. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Indeed. Our yeah. first really ominous, awful thing. Yeah. Um. We don't know if the people who work there, clearly those must have been adults if they were working on a work site like that. Not mm -hmm. on wood, I hope. Um, it doesn't specify whether or not they were local. It seems like they went to a hospital in a nearby city rather than... Yep, in Okinomiya City. In Okinomiya City. So it seems less like this is the locals that... Especially if they all cop to it. But... It's yeah. worth knowing. I think Okinomiya City has come up before. It is meant to be the nearest, like, major city. larger town. Or it's not like a major city. It's not like we're talking about a... But the nearest larger town. Yeah, the nearest place that's got more stuff. So right. if you were hiring a construction crew to come out and build a dam site at they Hinamizawa, would be stationed there. they'd all be that's living where in your local Okinomiya cinema city. is. Yep. Right, that's where, it's your where the hotel is. Hotel, your big chain grocery store. Yep. Yeah, stuff like that. Okay. Okay, I, I, I get the vibe. All right, all right. Uh, we got a little bit more time in this, so let's go a little bit longer, yeah. let's say. A Colonel Sanders? <laughs> of course that's right up her alley. What is her alley? I wonder, I understand her wanting to take home Sadako and Rika-chan, but I can't understand the Colonel Sanders. What's so good about that four-eyed geezer? Probably better to hear it from Reyna, don't you think? She'll probably just say, because it's just so cute, though. So you understand the problem here. Does Reyna often go to the construction site to hunt for treasure? Treasure? Every now and then, she says she's going to have a look. For treasure? But a girl her age rummaging around in garbage is well. If Reyna enjoys it, then I think it's fine. What were they doing over there anyway? Dam construction? It'd been bugging me since yesterday, like an itch I couldn't scratch. Haha, <laughs> it was canceled a long time ago. Okay, okay. So they, they, they had begun working on it, but it wound up canceling it. Cool, like the pit. <laughs> oh, they have their own pit. They do. Oh, they that... have their own unfinished construction project. They have Herma their own unfinished. They have their own like constantly unfinished construction project. That's so cool. Everyone gathered together and fought against it. Oh, that's different from hmm. Everyone gathered together and fought against it. Dam construction. Okay. Do you know... Is, is this the kind of thing where, like, they were trying to construct a dam and Hina Mizawa was going to be in the floodplain? Okay, that's what I was going to say. Because could be something like that. There's a lot of... There's been a lot of folks pretty mad about dams getting built because those dams involve flooding, flooding a pretty large right area they, that they happened to live in. Right, right. It's one of those things where, like... Uh, hold on. <laughs> yep. Where... It's, dams in principle seem like a great thing and then you realize that in order to have them it means uprooting a lot of people who probably don't want to leave the place they live yep so it's it, it's yeah it, 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 they haven't said explicitly that that's what it is but that's the first thing I imagine reasonable yeah hearing an ominous word like fought come from Rika-chan's mouth startled me the way the article we read made it seem was that it was the people who worked there. Yep. Whereas this makes it seem like the locals had the beef. Yeah, sure does. Those seem like two different sets of people. Kind of weird. Yeah. Because it, it, it definitely, it, it, the construction company is definitely out of town, but the people who had the beef seemed to be locals. Okay. That's right. It was unbelievable. They said Hinamizawa would be sunk into the reservoir, and we had no say in the matter. Okay, so I'm not being clever. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. You got the context. I hate it when I like. I think I'm being clever, and then it's just like, wait two seconds, and they'll just say it out loud. I'm like, oh, all right. That just means your brain is going two seconds ahead of time. That's two seconds. That's two seconds time saved. <laughs> God. 
So I'm only able to be here because the protest succeeded. The protest succeeded, huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't keep you, did I? Did I? <laughs> my deepest apologies, keiji -san. It took me a while to powder my nose. <laughs> Sadako, wait to use the can until you really have to go, okay? It's a lot easier since it shoots right out. <laughs> Or you speak that way to a meaning of unparalleled beauty such as myself. <laughs> Who was she calling a maiden? If Sadako really was a maiden, she wouldn't have reacted like that. The usual hijinks ensued. These are all hijinks, but are probably indicative of a deeply broken home life. <laughs> <laughs> Now then. Watch me be completely wrong about that, by the way. Yeah, what if they all have it just utterly loving families and everything's great at home right? and the mystery and, is something else? Right, and Rika just makes food because she wants to. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, exactly. Now then. Gentlemen, in accordance with the rules of our society, I bring a point to discussion. He, Keichi Maibara-kun, wishes to be included as a member in our activities. What say you? Haven't I been for like a couple weeks now? Reina has no objection. <laughs> oh, I wonder if the likes of this peasant is up to the task. Me and Sadoko both approve. The three that Mion had queried voiced their approval. <laughs> Rika's just like, never mind her. <laughs> A unanimous decision. Congratulations, Keichi Mai Barakun. I present you the honor of being allowed to take the entrance exam for our club. Oh, start from the beginning. I didn't say I would join. What club is this? What our club does, you see. In order to cope with our complicated society, we perform various activities under different sets of rules. Okay. Sometimes they are in your favor, and sometimes they work against you. You just want to play, like, a game? What? What is? What is this? What is any of this? I'm pretty weak, so I'd prefer if you didn't single me out. Let's try to get along. I have no context for what's happening here. I hope you all know this. <laughs> <laughs> you are so naive, Reyna. The law of the jungle is the survival of the fittest. <laughs> this was starting to sound a bit sketchy. So what kind of club was it? To sum it up, it's a club where we play games together. Oh, is this where Mion indulges everyone with her uh, yeah. board game? Yeah. With, okay. So she's like, I'm a board game nerd and you're my friend, so I get to inflict that all upon exactly, you. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. I'm okay. the games nerd, so all of you are the games nerds by proxy now. To be fair, being friends with the games nerds was the best thing in high school. Oh, yeah. Like having like not not just the uh, the lands games nerd, but the board game nerds yeah. and the tabletop nerds. Yeah, that was the raddest thing in high school. So absolutely, this sounds like the dopest shit. <laughs> Rika-chan was the only one to answer my question with a pertinent response. So basically, this club put me on's hobby of collecting games to use. You know what? You don't need me here. <laughs> Why do I say things? <laughs> Why do I add commentary? I clearly, clearly we put too much effort into this. False by playing the various games that Mion had hoarded every day. It seemed that, depending on the day, there were prizes for the winner or a penalty for the one person who finished in last place. I'll make this clear right now. We aren't playing house here. You should treat each win or loss as if your life depends on it, all right? You know, Monopoly wasn't originally designed to be a board game for fun, right? <laughs> all the better. It was this more is of a social experiment than... Uh, oh, okay. Meant to, like, prove a point, not to be something to play with your friends. Or no, wait, never mind. What's wrong with just having fun? Don't make it sound so crazy. <laughs> Mion pulls out her 40k. <laughs> <laughs> that, Warhammer 40k apparently started in the 80s. I don't know when. Really? Yes, uh, uh, the first edition of 40k. I see. According to two seconds of internet research I did before we did this episode. So Fantasy Battle must have been out prior to that as well. It was that the uh, precursor? Yeah. Yeah. The first rule of our society, aim only for first place. <gasps> aim for the top. Going at it half-assed just because it's a game isn't allowed. <laughs> rule 
number two of our society. For that reason, you are obligated to make all possible efforts. <laughs> the way Sadako said it, it sounded like she was saying use any means necessary. Of course, I will do my best too. I'm pretty weak, but I'm trying my best. I knew what they were trying to say. <clears throat> In a game where everybody is aiming for the top, it's rather unsportsmanlike to play just for fun. All right, then. I, too, will go all out. And with that, I was finally ready for the rite of initiation, my baptism into the club. A word of warning, Kei-chan. Reina can get pretty nasty. This initiation looks like it's going to be rough. Mion began fishing around in the student lockers in the back of the room. They have the games here at the school? Well, it's club equipment, so I guess that's fine. Complicated games would put Kei-chan at a disadvantage. So today, we'll play a game that you should be familiar with. How about a standard card game? Like <laughs> Old Bachelor. <laughs> the text does... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's the difference between that and Old Maid? I don't think anything. Okay, cool. All right, so this is just let's play card games to get you up to speed. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I, I can't wait to see what actual, like, tabletop games Mion has in her collection. I want to see some name drops so I can do some <laughs> research here. P please tell me that she's going to name drop some really... We'll see. I oh, don't leave me hanging. All right, let's do this. Can't really get into it unless there's a penalty. This time, the loser will be sentenced to having their face drawn on. What do you think? What do you mean, like someone will draw their face on or like they just draw on your in your face with the canvas? You understand how this is confusing, right? There are like two interpretations here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, it won't be oil-based paint, right? Right? Oil-based? Face painting with oil-based paint? That's perfect! Sadako cheered the idea on. She didn't even flinch at the thought of such a severe penalty. I, I don't know paints. Is oil like oil based paint not something that doesn't come off easily? I think that's like canvas paint paints. Oh, okay, so not like face paint paint. Yeah. But yeah, okay, so that's like, yeah, no good. It seemed like she was raring to go. Keiji, you should know what that is. Your dad probably uses it. It's gonna be like this, then I can't lose either. Then I'll just cut the deck. Oh, no, that's probably me. Then I'll just cut the deck and start dealing. Old Bachelor is pretty much the same as Old Maid. There's only one difference. There's no Joker. We really, truly do live in a society. <laughs> in its place, one card is pulled out at the start, meaning there will be one card without a match left over at the end. Oh, that's delightfully devilish. <laughs> you don't know which card will end up being the Joker. It's a pretty thrilling game. Oh, sweet. Intense card battle music. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. I'll take out the card now. Reyna took out one card and left it face down on the table. Everybody stared at the card intently. Well, it'll be pretty obvious in the end game, right? No way to tell at the start. But the rest of them were very serious. They didn't seem as relaxed as I was. They compared their cards to the one face down, all the while gauging each other's reactions. How well used is this deck? Is this deck so well used that they can like tell what the <laughs> cards are based on like the, the damage on the back of them? It was as if they could see what the face down card was. No, it couldn't be. <laughs> you don't even need me here. I do. You know, this deck here is pretty worn out. No way. Can everyone tell by the scratches what the card on the table is? <laughs> Remember the second rule of our society. Kiji-san must try his hardest to win as well. <laughs> A number of cards are quite unique. Kei kun should be able to remember them pretty quickly. I... <laughs> she said that so matter-of-factly. <laughs> you know what? This suits me fine. Don't think a little thing like that could be your crutch. I lashed out angrily, but it was rather obvious I was at a disadvantage. After all, they'd gone so far as to memorize the wear and tear for each individual card. This wasn't a simple game of Old Bachelor. If this was a test... Then they were playing with the answer sheet in front of them. Bring it on. I'll take advantage of your carelessness and beat you at your own game. That baseless confidence would soon be crushed. <laughs> How about I tell you your hand, starting from the right? 
three, four, nine, Jack, Queen. <laughs> By the way, the bachelor is the Jack of Diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell that they're what they are, even if you switch them around. I am out. <laughs> I thought I was prepared, but for it to be this brutal, just overwhelming. D -d Demons, you're all demons by which I've been spirited away. <laughs> Reina isn't, isn't a demon, are you? Sorry, Kei Chikun. This is the Three of Hearts, isn't it? I'm out. <gasps> Not even a hint of mercy. Reina, even Rika-chan. These club activities weren't to be trifled with. Seems like nothing in Hinamizawa is. <laughs> right? An alumnus of this club would definitely survive in the cruelest of situations. If our entire class had self-detonating collars strapped to their necks and were dropped into a death match on a deserted island, these guys would probably take it to, like, to it like fish to water. <laughs> what death game stuff was around in that era? That's Cause, a great question. Yeah, because I'm thinking about like... Um, <laughs> sorry, everyone. Um... Cause like I think the oldest one I can think of has to be like um I don't know weren't there some Uchikoshi one some of his earlier ones before Zero Escape like I know the genre was around but the earliest stuff I can think of is like uh, Zero Escape and um Duncan Rampa hmm. and stuff like that I it's not like uh time loop stuff where like I know like some of the early progenitor parts of the genre. Like, this game is going to be heavily influenced by uh, Almost Assuredly, which I have played. Hmm. Ha 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 ha! I have some measure of context! Ha <laughs> ha! Damn. I am not fucking... Anyway, you can let us know in the, in the comments. I genuinely, like... It doesn't come up often on the channel because we like playing some newer... St like, it's just... There are a lot uh, more queer like visual novels that come out more recently but i do genuinely in my own time like playing older uh vns and stuff and learning about um games that have like been the progenitor of stuff that i enjoy um so if you got any cool stuff let me know hilariously vndb has a whole tag for death game accessory i i'm not surprised i'm not surprised at all anyway i can already picture their joy as they hunt down each of their classmates it's a lowest point system. The order itself dictates the points. Whoever has the lowest point total wins. Since Keiichi finished last, he has five points. There's already a five. Oh. There's already a five marked out on my scorecard. I think it's unfair to Keiichi-kun if we don't use a new deck. Ugh. It's fine. It's fine. Keichan is a man after all. He can turn the tables even if the odds are stacked against him, right? I'll just have to turn the card table around. Ha <laughs> <laughs> It is fitting for a lowly peasant to scamper home and soak their pillow in tears, don't you think? <laughs> a petite hand laid itself on top of my head, which was trembling from uncontainable frustration. It was Rika Chan's. Keep on fighting, yeah. She hasn't said Nipa once. <laughs> Thanks to Rika Chan's words of encouragement, I was able to calm down. I've been lied to about the. I wonder if they translated it oh, or something. Is, that, is is that like have have we been missing Nipa's here and there already? Maybe oh. I don't know. Oh my gosh! You need to be calm, especially when you're cornered. That's the power I could muster during this crisis. Think clearly, Keiichi Maibara. Take your time and look at the cards carefully. It's just as Reina said. Each card has its own distinct markings that made them stand out. Memorizing them should be pretty simple. Think about what you can do in this situation. Try everything in your power to improve your chances of victory. Whoa, great. Keichi-kun, just like that. I covered the uniquely marked cards with my hands or other cards, arranging them in such a way that they couldn't be seen. Who 
one with the ripped corner should be the five, and I'm out. Hmm. I couldn't let any of those precious hints slip by me. All information is a weapon. And then it was my turn. Sadako fanned out her cards for me. <laughs> you see, I want the seven. Is it this one? <laughs> is it? I think you might have just clicked auto. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, you see, I want the seven. Is it this one? I do wonder about that. You won't know unless you take it. <laughs> there was a bit of dismay in her expression. Like she doesn't want it taken. That kind of expression. I won't let that momentary lapse slip by me. I know. It's this one. Got it. Seven of spades. A cheer of woo rang out. Uh, what's this? The seven should be the hardest one of all to tell apart. It wasn't for memorizing the markings. The slight changes in their expressions as I was selecting a card were enough. Can't hide it from me, Kate-chan. This mark means it's the two of diamonds. What? She was startled by her own misread. Of course, everyone else was too. Whoa, it's rare that Mi-chan gets a card wrong. No. Kate-chan, could it be you? <laughs> they told them apart by different marks. That mark was a nail scratch. So I put a new one on it. <laughs> Are you saying he disguised it as the two of diamonds? <gasps> what, what an impressive show of wit. Getting some real Kakagurui vibes here. <laughs> hey, she landed a clean hit. That's great, Keichi-kun. That was an incredible match, you know? You know? Having defeated the forerunner, Mion, my brilliant battle left me as ecstatic. But by total points, it was already set in stone that Mion would win, and I would finish last. I laughed haughtily, selecting the tone of my voice carefully to get on Mion's nerves. Well, <laughs> I'm going to end up the loser, but I'm satisfied with what opening Mion at the end. <laughs> That should be the proverbial slap in the face to Mion, who was at the top already and ensured victory. Even if Hei-chan gets first place this round, he'll still end up last place overall. Don't you hate that? Of course I do. Let's have a duel. One chance. If you win. And then we'll swap first and last place. How about it? You up for it? She fell for it. A chance for an upset that wouldn't be possible without goading her into it first. One chance, you say? Let me hear the rules. Mion discarded two cards from her hand and replaced one with the Joker card that was on the table and shuffled the resulting hand behind her back. The card in my right or the card in my left. If Kei-chan can guess which hand the Joker's in, then he wins. When you turned around just now, you didn't pull out the Joker, did you? If you lose, I'll show the card in the other hand. That okay? The other three gulped nervously at this unexpected turn of events. All right, you've got it. Mion grasped one card in each hand and thrust them out at me. She didn't say that the Joker was in either of them. Even when she was clarifying it, she just said that she'd she show the card. She just said she'd show it. Right? So the Joker isn't in either of her hands. First, I needed to inspect them closely. The card on the right had no distinguishing marks. I couldn't tell which one it was. Which one, I wonder? Hey, Chikun, be careful. Yeah, of course. This is my chance for a big comeback. Looking closely at the card on the left, I saw a little wear. It wasn't one I had seen before. Ah, that card is! I didn't let that bit from Sadako slip by me. Mion clucked her tongue. I didn't recognize the mark on the left card from the small number I had memorized. I didn't know what the left card was, but I could tell from Sadako's reaction the card had already appeared during the game. Since it already appeared before, it meant that it definitely wasn't the Joker. Oh, Kei-chan thinks it's the one on the right. Will you choose that one, then? Will you? The left card definitely wasn't the Joker. If I could trust that theory, then I should have been able to declare the card to the right was the Joker. Even without Mion's taunting, the one on the right was the most suspicious. But wasn't it a bit too rash to decide space solely on Sadako's reaction? More carefully. Ah! I remember now? That mark, the left card, no doubt about it. The Seven of Clubs! 
Mm. Uh, it's the seven of clubs, I see. I've won. The card on the left was the seven of clubs. And the card on the right was the Joker. And then, just before my hand touched the right card, I froze. Huh. I, I think that's... <laughs> I would expect no less from you. There was a wave of murmurs amongst the onlookers at my sudden halt, right before I confirmed the right card was the Joker. Huh? What could Keiji-san possibly be saying? I mean, the left one is... Shh. Oh, what makes you so certain that the right one isn't the Joker, Kei-chan? Mion let loose an unexpected question. Everyone else was baffled. I don't know what the card on the right could be, but I know the one on the left is the Seven of Clubs. Then, doesn't that leave the right one as the Joker? One of them has to be the Joker, right? Yeah, one of those is the Joker, right? Hey, she has good intuition. Uh, Rika-chan, what do you mean by... So basically, the Seven of Clubs... <clears throat> he discarded that by matching with Sadako's Seven of Spades earlier. Everyone's attention snapped to the discard pile at the same time. The truth of the matter couldn't be discarded, discerned from that sloppy pile. So that means me pocketed one of the discarded cards, then aligned it over the left card, and that means... I see, I get it. This left card is being disguised as the Seven of Clubs, right? It was the first time since the start of the match that a shadow ran across Mion's expression, and I didn't let that slip by. And then with a grand flourish, I declared it loudly. The Joker is the left one! It was an intense moment. That one second felt like an eternity for everyone there. Breaking that silence, the first one to speak was Mion. Being the first president of this club, I've been witness to a variety of performances. Hey, Chan, yours is the best. The best of the best of the bats. That was the, probably the greatest compliment Mion could give. Mion accepted her defeat, dropping the cards from both hands. My comeback victory! Rika-chan placed her hat on my hand and began to petting it, congratulating me on my victory. Huh? Rika-chan is... Reina and Sadako gaped at us, as if they had seen a ghost. What is it, Reina? It's not as if I cheated or anything, right? That was fair and square. Rika, only pet someone on the head. To console them! Huh? What's the meaning of... At that moment, Reina let out a small shriek. Keichi-kun, this is how it was? You know, Kei-chan, I thought you'd read into it that far. <laughs> Everyone froze. No, it was just me. It was a gamble. If you had just jumped to conclusions like a little brat, then I would have lost. It was the answer everyone was certain about. Mion picked up the card from the losing hand. Hey, Chan, you know, you should take pride in this loss. She turned it around, and that was the card that proclaimed the victor of this duel. The card under the seven of clubs. Unbelievable! It was the two of diamonds! It was a setup behind the setup! If I just picked the right one without reading so deeply into it! I, Mion Sonozaki, as the club president, do accept Heichi Maibara's membership into our club. As I slumped to my knees, dazed, everybody let out a round of applause for the excellent effort I gave despite my defeat. The match is now over. Today's victor is me, Mion Sonozaki. And our exalted loser is Heichi Maibara. Everyone made a commotion, applauding cheerfully. I felt I was bested, but I was so roundly beaten that it unexpectedly felt rather refreshing. When Michan pulled that little trick behind her back, I got excited, thinking, she's going to do it again. <laughs> when Keiji-chan stopped the moment before touching the correct card, I thought, he fell for it. <laughs> he fell for it quite handily. Huh? Hey, wait. All of them knew from the start and still got so excited so earnestly? <laughs> Everyone got excited to make it more fun. You, you're all demons! You monsters! <laughs> ah. Ah. Now then, Kei-chan, it's time for your penalty. Since it's your first day participating, I'll go easy, okay? It would be a problem if you refused to come to school. The other three members held down my arms and shoulders firmly. Mion approached, licking her lips. 
Her right hand went to pull something out of her pocket. That's a felt tip marker. And it's large and oil based. Okay, here we go. She took the cap off the marker and brought it up slowly to my face while I was immobilized. No, no, no. I let out my death throes. Can't just enjoy playing board games. Needs to have someone to torment with a Sharpie as well. What's the point of playing board games if you can't make someone's life miserable? <laughs> That's what I'm learning here today. Uh, All right. Let's call it a sode there. What do you think? All right. Oh, oh, hold on. We're moving through a whole lot of screens here. <laughs> Thank you all for coming today. I hope yeah. you enjoyed this. We're having a great time here. Ugh. How am I doing so far? Doing good. Yeah? Doing good? You all know the drills. Please don't post spoilers in the comments. Use Rot13 if you want to talk about stuff that hasn't happened yet. Y'all been y'all were great when we did Omanako. I expect that same kind of discipline for this one as well. Yeah. Oh, we'll see you next time for more intense board game fun, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Peace, y'all. Smash, smash, smash that like, comment and subscribe.